Welcome back everyone, iOS 15 Beta 2 just officially came out, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 6s. Now this beta was actually a fairly large beta, it definitely wasn't a small one. As you can see it was 1.85 gigs, but it's nothing like the previous version which was much bigger which I didn't get a chance to take a screenshot of, but it's a pretty big beta with a couple of cool changes. Now nothing is super crazy within this, it's essentially almost the same thing as you know 15, at least what 15 was supposed to be. So there's a lot of features within 15 beta 2 that have been you know announced in the original thing. So first of all, bug fixes for iCloud private relay. So that is a pretty big change. I think there was a pretty big exploit, so that should have been fixed. There's now a new maps icon, which is kind of funny. So you can see here, it essentially works the same way, I'm sure all you know. But there is a new icon, which is actually pretty funny. I like that. Now, Memojis have actually gotten a new outfit. So before, Apple actually stated that Memojis were going to get a pretty big update, and that we actually kind of did. So within Memojis, you can now choose an outfit if you want to. I think that's cool, you know? I don't know who even uses Memojis, to be completely honest. But that is something that's really awesome, so I'm glad to see that. And now we actually have Share Play now working. So this goes both ways. If you want to share your screen to a different device, like an iMac or something, you have that capability. But also within, you know, FaceTime, let's say you FaceTime somebody, well, you can actually go ahead and share your screen within FaceTime now, which is another really cool thing. We didn't really have that before working on the previous version, but now that is fully working now, which is actually really awesome. So those are really the main differences. The install process really wasn't super crazy. It was fairly easy, straightforward. None of my devices break up, which I'm really happy about. So to answer the question, I mean, should you install iOS 15 beta 2 now on your iPhone success? Uh, still, the answer is no, guys. I would not recommend installing any beta on any device. I will say it does seem, I don't know what it is, it does seem smoother. There seems to be less crashes overall, and this is what we want to see. I don't care if my device is faster. I don't care if it's slower. That's why I'm not even doing a speed test. I want to see a more stable iPhone, and it kind of gives me the vibe that it's a little bit more stable. If Apple is able to increase the stability just like they did with this one, that would be awesome. Now, that doesn't mean it's perfect. There's still going to be bugs and everything within this so even if I don't see any bugs right now I've only messed with it for like 10 minutes I don't use it every day if I use this phone every day I'd be able to find a million bugs in it so take it as you will I would still not recommend installing this beta on your iPhone success but it's getting better and that is something I'm really happy to see so that's essentially it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else I love every single one of you guys hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then